adventures. Hey guys, well I'm three miles into the trail. It's been a really interesting trip. It's been mainly uphill. This is a four-wheeler trail. I'm on my fat tire bike, uh, but it's really cool. I've seen a couple four-wheelers coming through and dirt bikes and stuff, but whatever. I'm out here hunting and it's gonna be nice going back down. Um, I think I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, I brought a pad and a bivy sack and a wooby thinking that, you know, if an emergency I might camp, but I think I'm just going to build a fire and try to stay in that bivy sack and stay warm. I don't know if it's smart or not, but uh, it's warm weather. I don't think it's going to rain. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for it. I've got some freeze dried food. I'll have just enough food for the trip. I'll be hungry on the way out but uh, it's time for adventure so I'm just gonna go for it this place is teeming with brown bears I've seen signs already there's no black bears here because the brown bears have ran them out or eaten them so I, I think I got a good chance of seeing something I'm a little bit quieter than the four-wheelers obviously this place is a hidden gem just uh, you know a little campsite on top of this mountain uh, it's got a little fire ring and a little water ladle up there lots of water so i have the caradine uh, water deal purifier so I'll, I'll be good on water so unless i just get too cold and i decide to bike down it'll take me a few hours the lake is six miles up and it's pretty slow going in the mountains because um, i'm not going to ride this mountain bike straight up a, a mountain but didn't bring any toilet paper, so I'm a little bummed about that, but there's lots of leaves and water to bathe myself in. But um, anyways, watch Chook make mistakes every time. Hopefully I will get a brown bear tonight. It's very hot. They like to come out at night. There's a lot of signs by this lake, so we'll see. I may get a brown bear. Stay tuned. So I've been uh, hiking and pushing the bike and biking, and as you can see, this, this valley is just incredible, just beautiful. Um, but I'm not going to make it to the lake. I, my legs cramped up. I haven't been riding the bike with Maddie Rides like I should be, and I don't feel comfortable with the stuff I have. It, I could survive out here overnight, but I feel like I haven't found any good places. I'm not going to make it to the to the lake, so I would just be like a little perfect burrito next to the trail for a bear to eat. So I'm still going to hunt. I'm going to. There's a lot of light left in the day. I mean, this is the hottest part of the day. It's it got cold, but then the sun came back out. It's burning hot right now. So I'm going to slowly make my way back, cook a nice late dinner, and there's another fertile valley over the next ridge that I'm going to scope out. I did see a uh, moose and calf, and uh, there's it, it was up on the hill, two brown things moving. I was like, oh, man, but that's a bear. But I saw the ears. They were, they were moose, but there's moose tracks everywhere. That's a good sign because in this unit, uh, the bears are eating moose calves right now. That's what they're just dining on them, uh, just gorging themselves on moose calves. That's how the, these brown bears are getting big. 
Um, and that's why Fish and Game wants them gone too. So yeah, I'm a little disappointed that uh, I couldn't make it 14 miles, but that, that's just ridiculous. I need to train for this. But I did make it five, six miles out here. Pretty happy with that. And uh, just, you know, the footage and, and pictures I got out here. Just being out here is nice. I've been just kind of napping. I, I couldn't go any, any farther. So I'm going to start working my way back very slowly. And I think that's the key, just kind of a low footprint, being quiet. And um, I bet you in the, towards the evening, if I don't go too far, kind of stick to this area, I will see some bears. So, uh, But check this out. Would you just look at it? So I didn't get a chance to finish up that video with the fat tire because I was so out of it and so tired. And that that's another point is you got to be prepared and kind of trained for those long distance trips, which I wasn't. But anyways, it was all downhill and I didn't want to stop and cook some food because I was just going to coast downhill the whole way and go to a restaurant and get something when I got to town. So anyways, the... Pros to using a fat tire bike while hunting would definitely be you're going to be able to cover more distance. You can go in areas where ATVs are not allowed. So you're going on your own power and you can, if it's a good road, you can cover tons of, of miles even on a mountain bike or a fat tire bike. I, I was pretty impressed. When I could actually ride, it was really nice. Uh, another pro is sound. You're not going to have the sound of an ATV and also uh, it's a different kind of sound than you make walking. A lot of animals are smart. They know what a four-legged sounds like. They, they're been around humans enough to know what a two-legged sounds like. They may think that a, a tire, you know, a bike going by is just something being dragged or they don't know what it is. But anyways, you're a lot quieter than an ATV. Different sound than walking might be even quieter than walking. Uh, another pro is scent. You're not going to throw out gas fumes that you will on an ATV, and you're also not leaving your foot scent on the ground. It's just the rubber tires. So a lot of pros. The only cons are if you get a flat tire or have some mechanical damage to your bike out in the middle of the woods or the mountains, that's a huge problem. And then I guess you could injure yourself or I don't know. If, you, if you're prepared then there are no cons except for the fat flat tires. So let me know what you guys think. I'm a big fan and I'm planning on using the bike again on another hunt, but you got to pick your trails well. I, I don't like the hardcore four-wheeler trails with all the ruts and, and going way uphill. So I'm going to pick my trail a little bit better next time and see if it works out for me better. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Please like and subscribe and help me out on Patreon if you can. It's true. Signing out.